Hi, I'm Amanda, and I'm the face of Amazing Productions. <laughs> I guess when you get into college, you look back on your life to see what brought you here. So, let me tell you the story of back when I was in high school. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time, once again, for another story. No, 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 I'm just kidding. That was a show that we were planning on doing, but we didn't really get to because it's going in chronological order, and I just skipped straight to literally senior year in the last days, if I were to make this story be one of them. But like, last well, I mean, you know? So go ahead, cue the theme song. <laughs> I, I said cue the theme song. Cue the theme song. So back when I was in high school, I had this really weird goal that I was going to decide to, uh, going to decide to, I can't focus. <laughs> in case you're wondering, this is why I can't focus. So I'm about to film, right, and I look over and I'm trying to get some of my green screen that's on the floor and set it up against the wall so I can have a cool background and then I move one of the green screens and this is what I see. I actually have no idea if that's alive or dead. <laughs> and honestly, I'm scared to find out. <laughs> but here's what I'm thinking. If it was dead, how did it end up dead? Maybe it got itself stuck on the duct tape. Yay for duct tape. <laughs> see, see it's a dead move. It's looking at move. <laughs> it moved. I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. Or should I kill it? <laughs> I'm crying. I hate roaches so much. I hate roaches. <laughs> And I'm gonna look back on this footage and say, oh my gosh, Amanda, you're so st stupid. <laughs> but like, it's there. And I bet you anything, it was in the hallway. And someone saw it. And then they're like, oh, let's just uh, scoot it under Amanda's door. Surprise, Amanda, there's a roach in your room. <laughs> Jerks. <laughs> I hate roaches. <laughs> I don't have any bad shoes to spare. I like all of the shoes that... My tiny shoes. Use my tiny shoes. <laughs> what if it moves? This is scary and it's all dark away too. <laughs> Shoo. I 
slime on my face when I'm sleeping. stuck on the duct tape because it has a bunch of hair on it. Or like its legs are stuck or something. At least I hope. I don't know what to do with it. I think I'll, I'll just get a guy to get it out of here. Because <laughs> I ain't touching that thing. That was another problem for another day. <laughs> This is supposed to be me talking about a time where we went around and sat at every single lunch table and it's just becoming really difficult because there's a roach like three feet away from me. It's disturbing. Gross. I mean, I don't know if it's moving or not. I've been doing this on my days where I'm probably bad. Not in the bad. You can do this. Okay. 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 You can do this. I am Nanny Man. I can just sit here and film. I can be manly enough to ask for someone to get that thing out of my room. Preferably the person who probably scooted in here. Maybe I deserve this. I mean, I did one time watch um, <laughs> this guy scoot a roach into my RA's room. And it was just a joke. I didn't think it was actually going to go in, and then it, it did. <laughs> I deserve this. <laughs> so currently it is one, two, three. Three tiles away from where I'm sitting. I was gonna try to hang the green screen more so it could cover the rest of these walls, but it didn't work out that way because there's a roach right there. And I'd have to use more of this wall. This is what happens when you're in a dorm room. Oh my gosh, you guys, y'all need to stop talking to people. I'm trying to talk to my camera. Ugh. Crazy people, I know, right? <laughs> Back to the story, as I was saying, when I was in high school, I had this really strange goal. I wanted to sit at every single table in the cafeteria, but not just sit. I wanted to eat at every single table at the cafeteria. So you know how I did it? I want to know how I did it. It was within the last two full days of school and the last two times that I would have lunch at my high school. Speaking of, in case you were wondering why there's a, stra a strip of duct tape on my shirt, it's because it says <laughs> what school I went to. <laughs> and I don't know who's going to watch this video. Crazies. <clears throat> it's still there. <laughs> I I'm psyching myself out because I think it's moving. <laughs> so this is how I did it. I grabbed an apple and a chair. Went around to every single table. Set the chair down, took a bite of the apple, and swallowed. This process took a total of two days and two apples to get through. The first day was pretty easy. Uh, some of the tables were empty or didn't really have a lot of people who sat at a table at once. Most of them were very welcoming. I got to say hi and I met some people. It was a very interesting experience for me. It's kind of like an experiment. And some of the, the tables on the first day, I knew people who sat there, so I'd just say hi to them. And either they'd be all like, hey Amanda, what's up? Or they'll be like, I do not know this weirdo. <laughs> That's how all of my friends act around me. 
you know it's true. And then there was the second day. The second day, I got weird glances from people. People were all like, what are you doing? Or they'd give me these scolded looks like, what the heck is she doing here? Like, she doesn't belong here. But I'd just sit down and eat my little apple and chew it and swallow it. And then I'd grab my chair and I'd take off, dude. I was only going to sit at your table for like 10 seconds. More because I'm a really slow chewer. I don't like the thought of choking. So then there was one time where I sat down at this table and the people next to me looked at me and they were like, what are you doing? And then it came time for me to be at their table and they were just like, what the heck are you doing? And then I kept going and like they like followed me. I was like, dude, I like... I'm like trying to eat at every single table here, okay? You know? I mean, that's all I ever wanted to do when I graduated high school is eat at every single table at the cafeteria. And finally, when I got all the way back to my own table, they were like, yay, Amanda, you did it! <laughs> and they just laughed at me because they, they knew I was getting strange looks from people. But looking back on it all, it was a nice experience. I got to meet some new people. I can't for the life of myself tell you what their names were. So I just wanted to share this time with you about how I uh, sat at every table in the cafeteria at my high school. That way I can walk out of high school and say, I did something. I sat down at every single table in my cafeteria and I ate there at every single one of them. You're jealous. You, what, you didn't do that at your school too? I know you did. You ate at every single table in your cafeteria in high school. I know you did. You did. I don't know where I get these strange ideas from. And now that I'm in college, I guess it's kind of weird I'm talking to my camera, and there is a roach. Three feet away from me. <laughs> Did I tell you I don't have a roommate? Oh, I don't have a roommate. There are some pros and cons, but that, my friends, is another story for another time. In case you were wondering, that was the plan ending to every single episode and the other series that was called Another Story. <laughs> In case you were wondering. So I guess that's all I have for today. We'll try to post a video every week. And in case you're wondering, the roach is still there. <laughs> I absolutely refuse to let this roach torture me until that thing gets all the way out of here. So... I'm going to take matters into my own hands. It is time to be a man. I'm so sorry, Rochi, but it looks like you're already dead. It looks like your legs are stuck. So I'm doing you a favor, dude. I'm just going to put you out of your misery. See, I'm putting reasoning behind it. I don't feel guilty about it. <clears throat> In case you were wondering, I missed. <laughs> So I did it. I told you I'm so manly, aren't I? <laughs>